Okay, um, this time uh, I'm going to show uh, how to make this cabinet. So, uh, and then um, as you can see, I'm going to show how to apply uh, the bit image as a material. So, uh, let's start. Okay, uh, first I'm going to show how to make uh, the front frame of a cabinet. So I'm going to use the front view for that and then uh, you can maximize front view. Uh, then uh, I'm going to use the, in this time I'm going to use the rectangle line drawing. So uh, let's select, let's click rectangle and then you can click and drag then you can specify the size of cabinet so uh, I'm gonna input 20 inch uh, length and then a 30 inch width okay so this will be one part one door of cabinet so then um, you need to convert this rectangle as an editable spline so convert to editable spline then uh, let's let's get inside of this property and then you can select the segment so uh, you can select the bottom segment and then let's delete it all right um, then actually I'm gonna use this line uh, for the certain function uh, called loft all right um, so uh, for that function I need one more shape so let's deselect and then uh, let's go to uh, rectangle again right and then click and drag and then let's specify the size 1.5 length then 1.5 so I draw I drew the perfect uh, rectangle then um, once again you need to convert this rectangle as a uh, editable spline okay and then let's get inside of this property again and then uh, let's this time in this time at this time you can select the vertex okay so let's select this vertex and then um, at the parameter setting uh, you can fill at this uh, rectangle so let's click the fill it alright and then you can increase the value until this shape okay so that's it then let's deselect let's deselect so now we are ready to use the loft function um, to use loft function uh, we are gonna select first this uh, the C shaped line not this small arc so um, don't forget to select this one not this and then uh, let's go to geometry okay not the shapes geometry and then you can go into uh, the compound objects object not standard extended primitives at this time we are going to use the compound object let's click compound object and then as you can see there are some command command morph boolean loft and, and so on and then uh, this time we are going to use the loft function let's click the loft before s click the loft you have to aware don't forget to select this line then you can select the loft then as you can see you have a uh, two commands get path and get the shape so uh, this time we are gonna use this shape so get the shape okay then uh, let's click this shape right wow now uh, as you can see this small arc shape is applied to the line then the whole the line is turned into uh, this kind of um, the front frame of cabinet okay 
Okay, now I'm going to uh, copy this uh, frame object. So let's go to front view. To make a copy of this uh, object, you have to uh, press shift key on your keyboard and then don't release um, the shift key. Press and hold the shift key and then select this object and then you can move wherever you want and then uh, you can release and then you can also release the shift key okay then you will see this pop-up window all right uh, there are two options uh, three options copy and instance reference uh, in most case we are gonna use the copy and instance copy means uh, you can copy the object and then you can easily uh, you can adjust you can change the shape of copied object without the change without the changeness of original um, object so in case of copy your mother object um, does not follow uh, the shape of child okay however the instance means uh, if you make copy as instance if you change the shape of copy, your mother object will follow um, uh, the, the baby's changeness. Okay, so um, you know, in this case, actually, we are gonna use the copy because uh, we are gonna change the shape of this second uh, copied object. So, copy and then OK. All right. That's it, and then um, then uh, let's align uh, both object parallelly. So uh, this case, uh, I activate this snap snapping tools. Then you can select and move at the corner of first object. That's it. Then. Um, we're gonna adjust the second frame of cabinet so uh, let's go to modify and then uh, now it's its property is loft so we are going to change its property uh, as a as a editable poly okay then uh, let's go to vertex properties and then let's select this this much of vertex all right then we are gonna extend its width all right that's it all right um now I'm gonna show how to draw uh, the door of a cabinet. So let's go to left view. Then once again, I'm gonna use um, the rectangle tool. So click and drag and you can draw the love shape of rectangle. Then you can specify the size of rectangle. So uh, eight inch length and then two inch width. Then we we'll have to uh, adjust its shape. To adjust its shape, you have to convert this rectangle property uh, as a editable spline. So uh, select this rectangle and then right click of your mouse and then let's convert this one to editable spline. All right, now, as you can see, this uh, rectangle is changed as editable spline. And then let's get inside of this property of spline. And then let's click the segment. And then you can select this part of segment. And then now we are going to divide this segment as a uh, three part. So make sure uh, before clicking this divide uh, toggle, you, make, you have to make sure the the value, uh, how, how many how many parts you need. So uh, I need three parts. 
so and then click divide all right 